Do you understand the latest cell phone technology? If not, why would you invest in a cell phone technology developer? That's just what James Robinson did, even though he was no techie and didn't understand the technology. And as we'll see in Robinson v. Glenn, he may not have understood federal securities law either. Robinson loaned Thomas Glenn a million dollars to invest in Glenn's limited liability company, which was risking its future on the success of Geophone, its new telecommunications system. Geophone couldn't work without what Glenn called Kama technology. When Glenn announced that Geophone had passed its field test, Robinson gave the LLC an additional $14 million. In return, Robinson took a one-quarter interest in the LLC's equity, which the investment instrument described as shares and securities. Robinson became the company treasurer, an influential director controlling three of the board's ten seats, and a member of the company's powerful executive committee. A few months later, Robinson accused Glenn of mismanaging Geophone funds and sued Glenn in state court. To settle the suit, Robinson bought out Glenn's remaining 75% equity interest, but not before hiring an outside engineer to assess the workability of Geophone's design. Now in full control, Robinson received regular reports on Geophone's progress. He grilled his experts. Based on what he picked up from them, he told the board that he doubted whether Geophone could succeed. It just confirmed his fears to find out that Kama had fallen by the wayside and that, without Kama, Geophone could never work. So he sued Glenn for securities fraud in both state and federal courts. When a district court dismissed his federal case, Robinson appealed to the Fourth Circuit.